Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome to my channel and welcome back. If you are one of my regular subscribers, if you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy this reading, this channel is strictly for Virgos, okay? Um, so Virgo, I want you guys to know this is going to be a 10-day reading as um, for two reasons. One, I'm going on vacation, um, my birthday weekend, and I am in the process of relocating, so I may not be able to get here every day. So this is kind of like a end of August, happy birthday reading for those of you the end of August going into September. Next 10 days from the time you listen to this video, I should be back September 1st. If I'm back earlier, then I will get your readings back to the dailies. Okay. Um, but we're going to take a look at the love messages and what's going on with someone you are connecting with here. Okay. Um, so I hope you enjoy this. All right, let's take a look, Virgo. See what the messages are here for you for the next 10 days. Okay. Okay. So this is all your person. You have the nine of wands with the six of pentacles, the five of cups, the sun, and the three of cups. Also, the wheel of fortune, queen of swords, the emperor, Ten of Pentacles, okay, and the Ace of Swords. So it's going to be the first five days, the last five days, okay. So the first five days coming up from the time you're listening to this reading. Um, let me get the love messages first before we get started here. The first five days. Okay, finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in this relationship right now. Okay, and let's take a look at the last five days. Codependency. Addictions are affecting the romantic relationship. All right, let's see here. All right, Virgo. So the person that you may or may not be connecting with, I mean, whether you're in separation or not, um, there's a hesitancy I'm seeing here in the next five days. I feel like somebody here will be giving to you, but not fully. You know, there will be an energy here with this person where there will be like some element of generosity, but it feels like giving out of a sense of duty, which is strange. Some of you might be waiting to receive some type of payment or some sort from somebody and I feel like they're going to give that to you but what I'm sensing in the beginning is this person is kind of beat up wounded soldier kind of situation here very hesitant um, not sure whether or not to make a move kind of standing back and re-strategizing kind of sitting in a position of like keeping some walls up or some boundaries up because there's a fear I feel of being hurt or because they are not sure what to do at this time I the center of the of like the theme for the next five days has a lot to do with grief sadness loss or regret Okay, um, I feel like this person, if you're not in communication with them, they probably will tell you or express to you in some way that they're really busy with their finances and what's going on with their work in the next five days. Um, or they may be stepping away from the relationship or stepping back because they have things going on that have to do with their career. Let's take a look at this nine of, yeah, the magician is here. I feel like they do want, they're trying to start something new here in their life. And they do have a desire to turn this relationship into something that's real and good, but it feels like, 
<clears throat> excuse me, they're very hesitant about it. Very hesitant. Now we do have Leo, we have Aries, Gemini, uh, Aquarius, and Libra in energy. Also Scorpio, Taurus. Okay, so I feel like there's this, what they're stepping back and thinking about is, should they put all their cards on the table with you? Should they tell you some things? Should they lay it all out there for you? Um, like everything. Very hesitant, a very withdrawn energy. Um, keeping their walls up. Keeping their walls up. Yeah, they're in decision mode right now for these first five days about whether to communicate or what to say to you. Okay, I do feel like they are going to try. There might be some type of communication for some of you. You know, I I kind of get a sense like you may have blocked. If you block this person, they're looking at that right now. Like they're wondering why you block them. They feel kind of wounded from that. Um, um, and I'm not saying whether it's justified or not. I'm just picking up this person's energy. They feel kind of wounded whether or not they should reach out. They want to. They're trying to make a decision or figure out how they can manifest you back into their life. Okay. Um, and I'm also picking up, like, there's, whenever I look at the Six of Pentacles, I always feel like this is kind of like a breadcrumbing card, you know? Um in some ways, this person is unable to give you everything at this time. And I feel like any giving that they do offer or come forward with, it's not the full loaf. It's just kind of like some of the crumbs. They have, a, it seems like they have a lot of responsibilities. Um, for some, it's like child support or they're trying to take care of their children. For others, it's... Um, they're spreading themselves thin in their career. They have a lot of duties that they have to take care of as well. Um, I feel like this person is trying to receive some kind of payout or waiting for a paycheck, or they're trying to like they're at the they're at the mercy of an employer or uh, at the mercy of a bank or a loan or money that they're trying to get at this time. Okay, not a pentacles. So this person is trying to be more financially stable for sure. Um, this seems to be the, these are the most some significant things going on with this person, with your person, you know, whether this is someone that you're currently dealing with or this could be somebody new. Um, I feel like there's a lot of hesitation to initiate a relationship or make a decision about the connection due to a financial strain or money that's owed not being a, and I know some of you are like, well, I mean, I just want your love, but for them, that seems to be a priority. Now, if you guys are in separation, I mean, this person is truly feeling sad and maybe some regret or loss. Let's see what this regret or loss is about. Okay. They didn't, or they're not getting the good news that they hoped that they would get, or they did not, were denied, or they denied. Um, feels like uh, they regret not making some kind of change. There might have been travel and they may have may, something about travel or there's a feeling of uh, they feel unloved or abandoned or there's a loss of some set, some sort. There could be like grief about not being able to move forward. Um, the Eight of Wands is Cupid's Arrows. That's like messages coming in. There might be, oh yeah, for some they, they're feeling a loss of not being able to communicate with you. So if you've completely like pulled your energy back or you're not talking to this person or they blocked you and they're not talking to you, they're, they're kind of in this place like, wow, you know, they really want to share their news 
they want to share some news with you and there's a sense of feeling kind of sad that they can't do that at this time or that they distanced themselves from you and now it might have been a bad decision for them okay so the sun is here let's take a look and see what this is it feels like things start to get better this person they go from the five of cups to the sun so there may be like a mood disorder or depression at times okay but something here shifts and changes there's some kind of a reunion towards the end of you know the five days let's take a look Maybe around the third day. Oh, yeah, there's, here's Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. You know, Virgo, it feels like this person, they, so if you're in this position right now where you're doing the whole self-love thing, <laughs> you know, you're really like respecting yourself. I feel like this person finds that very, it's very warming to them or very attractive to them, even though they're sad that they can't connect with you at this time. Let me see what else is going on here. They have very warm feelings for you. Okay. Well, three, three of pentacles. The so three is definitely about communication. I feel like this person is going to try to communicate with you. They want to get together with you despite their financial challenges or issues that are coming with them right now. Okay, they just gave me a bunch of cards. Nine of Swords, Five of Pentacles, the Fool and the Sun. Yeah, this person is like taking a leap of faith here. They have a lot of anxiety about not being able to talk to you. They feel abandoned, left out in the cold here. Um, and I feel like this, they're going to try to um, reestablish some type of reunion or getting together with you going forward. Let's take a look here. What is the Three of Cups? Huh. The Emperor. Well, that's Aries energy. And that's twice. The first five days, second five days. So I feel like this person is going to try to come in. They want to show you that they somehow they get it together things get better i don't know if they have like their mood affects their ability to think positively i feel like not communicating with you having that loss really plays it really like puts a damper on things and with their finances and career it's all they can do is just try to work and take care of the, the stuff like that but i feel like this person is really missing you and they want to come in in that emperor energy to have some kind of like reconnection, reunion with you, um, reunite, and to show up here as with that emperor energy, someone who's, I feel like they're going to take a lead in this and really be like, they want you to respect them. They want you to see them in a really good light. The three of pentacles is also a card of marriage, and I feel like this person kind of like a light bulb moment with the sun here, that this person really wants to come into union with you, whether it's legal, but they want to be a team. They want to be in partnership and they want to be in like, they're committed. They want to commit despite their challenges. Yeah. What are their challenges here? Well, number one, this person, it's like almost impossible. They're obsessed with you. It's almost impossible to let, they can't let you go. And the further along that you are gone or not communicating with this person, um, if you've left the scene of the crime, Virgo, I mean, they're truly respecting and are kind of like, wow, I didn't think Virgo had it in them to just disappear. Or just, you know, leave the relationship or just take the reins in Virgo's life and just like they're, you know, it's not like shocking, but it's like, wow, it feels like a wow kind of thing with this person. They can't believe that you did that. And it makes them want to, it makes them want you even more. And it makes them also want to get away from this devil energy that for some reason, I feel like this person has carried this around for some time. They want to defeat that. So that devil energy, definitely like addiction, greed, envy, materialism, obsession, lust, that kind of thing. But it's also like being chained. 
and bound. Um, this person, I feel like, is really trying to overcome these issues or they were dealing with some type of addiction or people in their life that would not let them go and kept them down. I feel like there's a, this time, if you guys are not really communicating or you know this person and, you know, you've just, I just feel like you've left the scene of the crime and I don't really feel like you said anything for some of you. Some of you might have said something or you might have been forced to leave, but you just, it feels like you just did. This person may have codependency issues as well, because that card is here. Um, they may be addicted to their work, you know, but it, I, I don't know if like you gave them an ultimatum or you told them they needed to decide between work <laughs> and everything else for you. They may have chosen somebody else and there was an ultimatum some of you might have said well if you're not gonna you know if you don't want to be with me you know let me know when you do and we'll see you know but you're leaving okay I just feel a very strong like blocking energy okay even if this person pushed you away I feel like you sealed the door shut all right so that's very interesting now the following 10 days the Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Swords, the Emperor, Ten of Pentacles, and Ace of Swords. So I kind of feel like a turning point is here that you're going to be communicating with this person and speaking your truth. I feel like you are in this position where you want clarity. You want victory with this person. Okay. Um, all right. They just gave you the Four of Wands, the Ten of Swords. Okay. So I was pulling this here for the Wheel of Fortune when I was thinking. The turning point is this, okay? Whatever has just ended, this person has completely hit rock bottom here. And the turning point is this Four of Wands, again with this reunion. This person truly wants to reconnect with you and try to make something right here with you. Okay, come into this energy of stability, which is what the four represents, a strong foundation, a stable relationship, planning, there's realization here. I feel like this person, they may try, they may try to communicate with you, but you might have them blocked or just you don't, you're not interested. And I feel like that. Is it a wake-up call? I mean, mm, but is it codependency? It could be, so you got to be very careful um, because this person might be someone who just feels like they can't live without you, um, like they are lacking a sense of well-being and a sense of self within themselves. But I feel like that Ten of Swords energy where that's a card about uh, hitting a complete and painful rock bottom situation. Like, I feel like realizing how much this relationship means to them and needing to deal with their addictions. And I kind of feel like if you are aware of something like that, codependency or some type of addiction or whatever's going on in their life, I feel like you might be truthful with them. And I also feel like if you're not truthful with them, they want you to tell them. If you if you sense they want they want your honesty, they want your truth, Virgo. They want you to be they want you to listen, but they also want you to understand that, you know, it feels like they're really trying to level up in their life and to give you what you want here. And I do feel they are intent with this Ace of Swords to have victory and to win you back. Um, you both might be in a very codependent relationship together, but let's get some clarity. The Queen of Swords with the Knight of Wands. Yeah, so some of you, and I feel like this is your energy. So for the ladies, I feel like your message and your, your communication to them is that they can't keep coming in and out of your life. That's not going to fly. Okay. And for the males, I feel like you might 
communicate to this person that they rely too heavily on um, another male or an ex or like or a father figure that kind of thing and you might communicate to them that they just take somebody or anybody else they take somebody else's advice and they just run with it instead of discerning their own thought process about this relationship and i feel like that really bothers you um, because I, I just kind of get a sense that this person was very easily manipulated, perhaps by a father figure or someone older or someone who was kind of like head honcho in their life. Um, let's take a look at this emperor, though. What's going on with your person? All right. So for the males, um, your person is getting away from this head honcho kind of a person right? This person who is, it feels like dictatorship. Usually the emperor in the reverse would be more of a dictator. Um, I feel like there is a level of control, okay? Um, also, this person is getting away from this like real like ego issue. This person has an ego problem, okay? Um, is it a horrible ego. No, it's maladjusted. It feels very maladjusted. Okay. So there's definitely change. This person with the six of swords energy is making a transition. There may be, um, they may be moving in or like coming towards you, relocating towards you, moving in your direction. I also am picking up somebody's buying a home or is relocating to a new home or relocating a business. Okay, um, something here to do with real estate is, is showing up here in these last five days. Let's see. Yeah, the tower. Okay. <clears throat> so this kind of feels like um, somebody's having to leave a place that they currently are because it's a bit destructive. Well, it's very destructive or there's a lot of unseen problems. I feel like if anybody's buying a home or relocating, make sure that you like check the bones of the home or the building or whatever that you're, um, or you or your person are getting into. Um, there's a sense of upheaval. Somebody may have lost a home due to, um, like a weather issue and is going to be kind of homeless and needs to travel or go somewhere. Could be towards you, okay, or nearer to you, because the Six of Swords is a card of travel. Um, I'm also hearing somebody is looking to, uh, looking in areas, going, going, driving around or looking in areas to find a new place to live. What's this Ace of Swords? There's definitely communication. Overcoming obstacles. Okay, King of Cups energy. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, the obstacle is codependency. And that is the conflict in this connection. You could be dealing with someone who is a people pleaser. or And, and then if they're not able to please, then they get upset because you may not be accepting them doing that you know what i mean like it's almost it, the codependency could be very controlling and manipulative behavior um and i feel like there's a clearing of this situation now your person whoever you'd be dealing with could be bringing clarity to you if you've got that going on where there's addictions, obsessions, um, the green eyed monster of jealousy. Okay. There's a communication about this could be, you know, vice versa for both of you having a conversation about this. I don't necessarily feel like everything is true. Yeah. Here's three, three of cups. I don't necessarily feel like it's all blending, but I do kind of get a sense that, um, there could be something about, Jealousy about others being in the picture. There might be communication about that. Okay. Um, now, it could be coming from them towards you. Or, like, you know, it could be coming from them towards you in the sense where you have, there's a heavy influence of your friends when it comes to this person. And they might have something to say about that. Um, and for others, 
I, I feel like they're going to tell you that they, they're with their friends and give you the truth about that, but there's nothing fishy going on. I don't know what that has to do with. Is there something coming up in um, like towards the end of August? Let's see. Just want to get a clarifying card for the tower. Wow. Yeah, this person wants to either move in with you or relocate with you or uh, have you move in with them or um, find a new place together. Okay, come together, bring security, safety, and trust. Everything is just kind of breaking down in this relationship so it can like be built back up. Like I said, in this card, you know, the building is destroyed, but the foundation is still there. So it feels like build back better. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel, like a build back better energy. Um, and then like the last five days. Let's get a couple of Moonology cards and see what the messages are here for you guys. Okay. Be bold and make the first move. Okay. I don't feel like that's for you, Virgo, because I kind of feel like, I mean, if there is a first move for you to make, if you've blocked this person, I mean, if you've blocked them, it's for a reason. Maybe you just needed to get into some healing or something, but when you're ready, when you feel ready to reopen the lines of communication, um, that's what be bold to make the first move is. It doesn't mean open the door and then walk in and start up communication with them. It just means when you're ready to allow that person to come back in, that's your bold move. Okay. Some of you might not be, and I really don't feel like you're going to be opening up the lines to communication these next 10 days, but I do feel there is going to be, I do feel like this person is going to try to come back your way. And I feel like you're going to, you know, hold your hand up and just say, wait, stop, stop right there. That might be your communication kind of thing. Um, and tell them you, you might say that you, you can't just come back in and out of my life like this. You know, I mean, if, I, if some of you are done and you're just like, it's, this is nothing that I'm interested in at all. The door is shut and it's locked and it's bolted and it's glued and I've left the house and I'm never coming back. Then this reading would not be for you. Okay. This is for people who are going through a struggle in a connection. You're very close to achieving your goal right now, Virgo. What is this goal? Take time to breathe out. So you've got some stuff going on in your own life, Virgo, that you're trying to achieve. And whatever that is, you're like right at the, the pinnacle of success here, whatever it is, whatever area, career, you know, your, um, like your, your, your thoughts, the way you reprogramming your thoughts, your creative endeavors, like your, your physical self, your fitness, your health. Okay. The emotional changes that you've been going through, like your, whatever you've been working on in your life, I feel like you're, like you're just almost there to achieving. Okay. Um, on your own. I feel like it's, it's very much like on your own. And I feel like some of you needed to really just, put this person on the back burner so you could do that. Um, but it feels to me um, like some of you might have really gotten into your work and your career and this person, they went and did the same thing, but it feels to me like they miss you. It feels to me that this person is really missing you right now. Um, let's get a couple of cards here. See what your advice is, Virgo. Okay. The dreamer, a new start. Trust yourself. Push your fears aside and take a leap of faith. Wow, Virgo. So whatever's going on in your life at this time, you can trust yourself. You can have a new start with this person as long as they're willing to make those changes. Um, require that Virgo require that because if not, you're just settling for the same thing again, or you have a new start out there in the world on your own. Okay. Is this person trying to make changes? Yeah. 
They're coming in with this emperor energy twice here. Doesn't mean it's an Aries, but they're coming in with this, you know, leveled up, ascended, bossed up kind of energy. And um, male or female, it doesn't matter. Because the emperor is very responsible and takes accountability for what he or she says or does and is honest and can be trusted. Um, but again, if they're coming in this way, um, you know, be careful. Just make sure you watch that they're consistent with that. And that's going on for a really long time. You know, if you guys have had some kind of breakup because of that, because they were the emperor in the reverse, which would be someone who's very immature, um, has power struggle issues, like power control issues, is not a good planner or a really big nasty ego, you know, um, very controlling and the emperor in reverse has a narcissistic trait. So, you know, people always say that narcissists can't heal. Now, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychiatrist or a psychologist or a clinician. And they say that usually narcissists can't heal because they don't think that anything's wrong with them. Therefore, they never seek treatment. But I've seen narcissists, and then somebody will say, well, they're not true narcissists. No, I've seen narcissists who have gone into healing. Is it the mass amount? No, it's, it's few and far between. But I've seen them get healing, okay? Um, because there could have been like alcohol or drug addiction, which could represent someone who is very selfish in the sense that they needed to get their needs met and would go to any length to satisfy their urges and their addictions and things like that. But then you do see people who get clean um, and then they get into a healthy program, you know? Um, I feel like, it's a very rare thing to have someone who's because narcissism is kind of a spectrum. So it's a very rare thing to have someone who is on that deep, deep level of like, what's his name? Like a sociopath, like a psychopath, like Bundy type of energy. Like that's way off, you know? Um, I mean, if that's your person, keep that door shut and run. Keep it running, okay? You got to know that. Um, you know, codependence, not every codependent is a narcissist, but a lot of narcissists have codependency. So, because it's an insecurity. So, you you know, you have, I'm not, because I have, I have to tell a lot of people, you know, just because I'm doing a love reading, I am not condoning getting into a relationship with an abuser, you know, and that's why it's so important for you guys to be really trusting yourself because it's not about the other person. It's about what your vibes are telling you and trusting yourself. I feel there's codependency here. I don't feel this person is the big N word, but I do feel like there may have been selfishness. Okay, with this person, and if you write in the comments, no, 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 my person was a Ted Bundy type without the physical acts, then this reading is just not for you. Um, you know, but you're fine to share that if you want. Um, but let's see what else you have going on here. Yep, nine of wire, nine of uh, fire. Protect what you have created. Be prepared. Never give up. Ask your angels for help. And environmental activism and animal rights seems to, might be something that you're doing or you're involved in and protecting Mother Earth might be something that's very important to somebody. But again, the nine of fire is an energy of like keeping and maintaining boundaries and being very persistent with that. Okay, and the nine of earth, here we go. I was seeing this card. I saw it here. Um, for some of you, I do feel like your person views you as being in a much better financial status than they are. They're struggling. Your person is definitely struggling financially. And I think I said that in the very beginning. But you're doing very well, Virgo. Enjoying the fruits of your labors. You have been working hard and that's been leading to luxury in your life step by step. Or you're already there. Um, you may be buying yourself something very special, especially if you have a birthday, 
around this time period. Um, I see you here being happily and successfully self-employed. So if you're not self-employed right now, you may begin the process of going in that direction. And a lot of you, I feel like you're really enjoying your solitude from the relationship. Like really enjoying yourself in your life at this time. Okay, here's the Queen of Swords again. Brilliant, experienced, humorous, judgmental, not critical, but just is a good judge of character. Releasing situations or people that no longer serve you. See, some of you, that might be the case. You're able to see the humor in difficult situations. You're focusing on career. Some of you may be divorced or unmarried. Okay, let's see. I just want to get another one here. Oh, you've got the sun. Beautiful, positive time of great joy and success. Brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities coming for you, Virgo. All your plans will work out perfectly. Gratitude here for the divine. And this is also about self-love, self unconditional love, self-respect and courage. So I really feel like you are in a good place. I feel like your person is struggling financially and struggling with addictions and codependency and stuff like that. Um, and when I say addictions, they could be a workaholic. They could be an alcoholic. They could be an addict, like a drug user. They could be sex addict. Like you know your person better than anybody. Um, let me see. Do I want to do any more cards here? No, I think that's it for now. So I hope that this was helpful for you. This is, you know, what's going on, what their feelings are, what's happening with them at this time. So yeah, do hit like, share, and subscribe. Personal reading links are the, the box below and the um, description box below. And um, I will be, I will be on my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, for the uh, live stream. 11 to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to pop over there and get a mini reading from me, um, that will be August 21st. And hopefully I will be there August 28th as well, if I'm not back sooner. All right, you guys. Love you. Enjoy. Take care.